the side and there's a little horseshoe shaped window. It's on the other side. It's on the white. Yes. Yeah, this says white. Right? This says white. Right? The eight compartments next to the white. Right? Okay. Have have those little have those little uh, horseshoes in them. The four compartments closest to the blue cap do not, do they? Okay. Now, these eight compartments that have the horseshoes, these reactions are aerobic. They require oxygen. So we're going to have to open those compartments. And we're going to do it by puncturing those little horseshoe-shaped openings. We're not going to puncture the flat side at all, right? The other four compartments that are closest to the blue cap have to be anaerobic. So we aren't going to open those up at all. There's no way to puncture those. Okay. Okay, any anybody have any questions so far? Okay. Now when you are inoculating When you are ready to inoculate and not before, and when I say that, I mean you need to have your organism, right, auger slide up so you can reach in and get it. When you've got everything ready to go, then loosen the caps. Don't do this. Watch me do this. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, do a pseudo inoculation. This will act as your control because it's going to be it's going to be incubated. The blue handle should be removed first when you're ready, and that blue cap should be held in your pinky of your dominant hand. Once you take the blue cap off, you'll see that there's a handle a bent metal handle. When you're ready, take off the white cap. The white cap reveals a pre-sterilized inoculation needle. You don't have to flame this. When you're going to inoculate, keep your entrotube as close to perpendicular to the plate as you can. And with the needle, scrape up an entire colony, right? You want, you don't want to have your intro tube down parallel because then it's likely that you'll contaminate the outside surface of your intro tube. So you want to keep it perpendicular so you can scrape up an entire colony. Once you've done that, and you don't want to get out want to get cells, but you want to have enough cells so that you can see the bacteria at the end of the needle. Then put the plate back in its lid, put your fingers on the handle, and in a twisting, with a twisting motion, slowly withdraw the needle. You can see the end of the needle as it moves through each compartment. You do not want to take the needle entirely out, but you do want to make sure you can see the end of the needle in the final compartment. Once you've done that, again with the twisting motion and moving slowly, begin to push the needle back through the compartments. About an inch from the end of the handle, there's a notch on the wire. And when that notch lines up with the end of the intro <coughs> tube, bend the wire and break it off. Don't put it down. At this point, you can put the caps back on the intro tube. With your broken off wire, poke holes in these eight little windows.
premature inoculated intro tube on its flat side on this tray. Take your broken off wire handle, put it into the broken glass box. and return your culture to the rack, okay? Now, tomorrow you'll score your intro tube, do yourself a favor and come to lab prepared, make it easy on yourself. On Thursday, we'll meet, we'll discuss how to use the information you gathered so that you can do a really outstanding job on your lab report and so that you can earn 10 bonus points. Thursday is also the day when you can repeat your gram stain or streak play. We'll meet together, uh, discuss the results and how to write your lab report, and then people who want or need to repeat their gram stain or streak play will do it then. Okay? Any questions? It's already on your on your lab schedule. Yeah. There haven't been any changes in your lab schedule. There there have been changes in your lecture schedule. Any other questions? If you have not given me back your second lab quiz, please do that, and I will have, thank you. I'll hand this back to you uh, as soon as I can. Thank you. Thank you.